First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakal Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and a sincere salutation to you, Akim and you, Akwat, that believe in all sincerity. So, as you see here on your screen, you got a photograph. It says St. Louis men go viral for posting pictures wearing their fallen ops on their shirt and if I'm not mistaken ops means opposition okay meaning enemies okay and that's a trend that Jake uh, is keeping up with nowadays where you know they'll mock the dead okay and as you see the first guy on the left has a picture of uh, another Jake Okay, and it says dummy. Okay, the next guy, the same. It says 4K dummy. Right? And this, the guy on the far right is holding the money. On his shirt, it says get up. And they all have, you know, pictures of, um, of their enemies on their shirt. Okay, whether they're dead or not. Um, I'm not sure, but um, this is what Jake is doing nowadays. Jake is mocking the dead. Okay. And you see this in the, uh, a lot in the drill culture, you know, Midwest. All right. And other states too, but uh, this shows the folly and the uh, ignorance, okay, that we've stooped as a people. You know, there's nothing... Um, noble or honorable about mocking the dead okay you know especially uh if jake is falling you know from gun violence okay there's there's too much of that going on people killing each other over nothing okay and it doesn't make no sense because you're fighting over uh, material things drugs or city blocks that you know you don't really own Okay, and I'm just um, speculating, but nonetheless, you know, you see the total disrespect here, you know, and you see the folly that's being uplifted. Okay, so you know, I just wanted to uh, do a little something on this. It's probably not going to be too long, but um, this is what's going on nowadays. You know, Jake uh, putting pictures of, of other men, as you see, and they're mocking them. You know, when when, when have, you know... When has this been a trend? Okay. It just goes to show you that, um, you know, the love of many is waxing cold, you know, and, and folly is, um, you know, set in dignity in this place, roughly paraphrasing the scripture. But uh, let's get a couple scriptures. Excuse me. Well, you'll start here. This is a Sirach 41 and 3. Fear not the sentence of death. Remember them that have been before thee and that come after, for this is the sentence of the Lord over all flesh. Right. So it's it's natural that, you know, we, uh, you know, we die when we leave this earth. You know, we, we, um, and the Heavenly Father has, you know, many ways, you know, he issues out uh, death, okay? And, and if you're righteous, you'll have an honorable death. And if you're wicked, okay, you, uh, the Heavenly Father has ways to, uh, you know, to uh, bring that sentence of death. But those that are before and those that, that come after us, you know, it's all the same, okay? We... we you know, we, we all die, okay? And we're not to fear death, okay? But either are we to uh, call it to us because you can, you know, through your lifestyle, okay? This is, uh, let's see. We'll get this. This is Sirach 8 and 7. Rejoice not over thy greatest enemy being dead, but remember that we die all, you see? 
Rejoice not over thy greatest enemy being dead, but remember that we die all. Yeah, we all die. Okay? And uh, as the scriptures say, matter of fact, let's get that. Just to prove that the Heavenly Father issues death. This is Psalm 68 and 20. He is, he that is our power is the most high of salvation and unto the most high, the Lord belong the issues of death. You see, we all die and the Lord distributes, you know, uh, the many ways we die. It's up to him. Let's look at this word issues. Strong's H 8444. Tot sa'of. Tot sa'of. You see, outgoing. Okay. Border, a uh, going out extremity. Okay, it says outgoing extremity of border, source of life, escape, escape from death. Okay, so. Unto the Most High, the Lord belong the issues of death. The Heavenly Father, okay, um, issues out death, okay, whether it be extreme or whether or not. But either way, you don't rejoice over the greatest enemy being dead, okay. But Jake has a you know a different um, you know a different uh, a different opinion. All right, about death. You know, they think it's it's funny to uh, to rejoice over their greatest enemies being dead. You know, airbrushing, uh, uh, you know, shirts and making shirts and, uh, you know, saying F the ops and F this guy and this, this street and this place. And, you know, that's what Jake's doing nowadays. Okay. This is uh, Sirach 20, 22 and 11. Weep for the dead, for he hath lost the light. And weep for the fool, for he wanteth understanding. Make little weeping for the dead, for he is at rest. But the life of the fool is worse than death. Okay. It says weep for the dead, for he hath lost the light. Okay. Matter of fact, let's look this up. Sirach 22. We'll look it up in the GNT. Sirach 22 and 11. Let's see. Oh, Sirach, no. Okay, Sirach 22, 11. We mourn for the dead because they have no access to light. We are to mourn for fools because they have no access to intelligence. In fact, we should go into deeper mourning for fools because the life they lead is worse than death. The dead are at least at rest. For seven days we mourn the dead, but a foolish or ungodly person causes a lifetime of grief. Right. Right. And see. Going back to this picture. Okay. Okay. You see, Jake. All right. You know, they got these shirts on. You know, and this guy right here. On the left, you know, they, they got a Jake popping bottles. The, the for dummy. All right. The, the next guy in the middle, 4K dummy. And the guy on the right says, get up. That's pretty, that's pretty harsh, man. You know. Mocking the dead like that. Weep for the dead, for he has lost the light. Okay? Yeah, when, when you're dead, you know, you're, you're no longer living. Okay? And you weep for those that die. It says, and weep for the fool, for he wanted the understanding. And there's a lot of fools, okay, out there that, that, that they lack understanding. You know, there's, there's there, you know, you're not supposed to weep over your greatest enemy, um, you know, falling. It says, make little weeping for the dead, for he is at rest. But the life of the fool is worse than death. You see? So the life of the fool is worse than death. Little to, to these guys' understanding. Because this is foolish. Look at the guy in the middle holding his shirt out so you can see him. 
Okay. Not knowing that the Heavenly Father, to him belong the issues of death. Next, you know, he's on a t-shirt. And that's what they rap about, you know, putting putting such and such on a t-shirt. Okay. This is this is really madness. It's folly. And you see this. You see this in the, the quote unquote culture nowadays. Sirach 38 and 23 when the dead is at rest let his remembrance rest you see let his remembrance rest when you die you want somebody to you know to remember you you know uh, that you were here okay you did what you had to do and you're you you, you know you, you you passed on when the dead is at rest let his remembrance rest right and be comforted for him when his spirit is departed from him you see be comforted for him be glad be glad that jake has passed on you know Okay, when his spirit is departed from him, right? When he's when he's when he's gone, you know, into the grave, but his spirit is back, back up with Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, be comforted. Okay, let his remembrance rest. You know, you're supposed to you're supposed to, you know, speak good of the dead. You're not supposed to mock the dead. Mm, matter of fact, there's a scripture that says. Right, this is a uh, Sirach 7 and 11. Laugh no man to scorn in the bitterness of his soul, for there is one which humbled and exalted. Right, you're not supposed to laugh someone in the bitterness of his soul. Now, you know, some have passed on, but, you know, you're not supposed to laugh, you know, someone to scorn. You know, you're supposed to let the remembrance rest. All right, scriptures we just read. Also rejoice not over thy greatest enemy. Okay, for there is one which humbleth and exalted. Right. There's one, okay, who can, uh, you know, do the same to you. And that's Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, right? Sirach 8 and 7 again. Rejoice not over thy greatest enemy being dead, but remember that we die all, okay? we Yeah, we all die, okay? So uh, let a man's remembrance rest, okay? And, and, and be comforted that he's back with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You don't go out there and mock the dead, you know, what was that about? Okay. This is uh, Sirach 1 and 13. It says, Whoso feareth the Lord, it shall go well with him at the last, and he shall find favor in the day of his death. You see? Oh, you fear Yahweh by Shimei Shai, whom the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus Christ. It goes well with you at the last. Okay? The Lord knows how to de deliver all the, the, uh, the righteous but reserve it the wicked for punishment. Okay. You know, and it says, and he shall find favor in the day of his death, right? Your works do follow you. Okay. So, you know, when you see people die gruesome deaths, you know, that's because the heavenly father, you know, was, was very, very upset, you know, had, had indignation towards that person, but you know, some deaths, you know, uh, um, you know, they're, they're, they're taken away. You know, let's see if I find it. This is Isaiah 57 and 1. The righteous perisheth, and no man lay it, to, lay it to heart, and merciful men are taken away, none considering that the righteous is taken away from the evil to come. Right. You know, some, some, some die, okay, so they don't experience certain evils, okay? And no one lays it to heart when the righteous die. But Yahweh Bashim Yashai knows the works of the righteous. And it, they, they have favor. Okay. And, you know, you're not to mock the dead, man. You know, live in fear that you don't, you know, go out like, like you know, your enemy or even worse. You know, but Jake is too busy, you know, uh, uh, out there, you know, killing, doing, you know, themselves. 
And that's the, uh, you know, that's what's going on with the youth nowadays, you know. And, of course, you know, we're, we're not involved in all that. So we don't really, you know, see it as much. But you hear about it. You hear about it all the time, you know, on, on the news and whatnot. You know, all these different things are going on in the world. But this is the, uh, this is where we're at right now, you know. So just want to do something on it, you know, folly, folly being exalted, you know, more madness. All right, Lord willing, you were edified. Shalom.